What's up everybody? I'm gonna bring you a massive glitch. The developers really, really screwed this one up. As you guys know, the last update brought a new defense, traps. The X-Wing and Y-Wing traps, they get triggered by a mine and it comes out of the sky and blasts your troops. Well, you should only be able to build a certain amount of these bad boys for my level at Headquarter 7. That's four X-Wings and two Y-Wings, which I'm showing here, but as you saw, in the corner, I have a heck of a lot more than that. So there was a massive exploit that was super easy to do. I did it a little bit, but some guys really got carried away. I'm gonna come over here to the leaderboards. Let's go over to Kitten out in the number one squad right now, Quantum Web, and let's check out Kitten's base to see what Kitten has set up. Look at all the TIE bomber traps Kitten has. Number seven player in the world using the exploit to completely defend their base. And this dude put all these things out. No matter where you come in from, you will get demolished. Lucky to get 2%. So a lot of people really took advantage of this. Let me show you how the glitch was done. So there's been this event going on and this is how the exploit is done. What I want you to pay attention to here is I have a few air traps that I have not rearmed. They're still disabled. They've been set off, and I'm not going to rearm those traps. Well, anybody who played this event, there was a few chapters in the event where you had to defend your base against the enemy attacking you. The way you do the glitch is to go ahead and end the battle early, lose the attack, give up, surrender, whatever you want to call it. So here I let them get 1% on me. Now, real quick, I'm going to go back and pause. Did you see real fast when you come out, there's a red number seven in the shop. You can go into defenses and quickly build a trap, and you could do this over and over again. Now, they finally patched the thing. That's why I'm getting an error right here. What you had to do to build a lot of traps was you could only have four, I think it was four or five uh, traps that were level one. So you just upgraded them to level two and then you could just do this indefinitely. So people who did this, you could do a lot of traps at once. And I have no idea how the developers are going to get this fixed. Supposedly they have put something in with the app store and they're coming out rolling out a fix. I don't know if that means they're just gonna take away the traps that have been built, but this affects a lot of things. It affects base score. When your base score is higher, that means your cap for how many medals you can get is higher so you can push higher on the leaderboard. Of course, it also helps with defenses because you will not lose defenses when you have a ton of traps around your base. You will win every defense, which gives you medals. I don't think they're going to be able to take away the medals that were won. I don't know what it'll do to the base score, but hopefully they can get it back to where everyone is on an even playing field. And I'm going to close it out with this attack you're seeing, attacking live here. Uh, I'm really growing to love Han Solo. I'm going to do some tips video for the Rebel players out there. People don't use Han Solo enough. He's really, really good. You just have to know how to use him. So that video is yet to come. Also, the other thing, in addition to the traps that came out last update, I thought this one was huge. Now you can play both sides. You can play Rebel, you can play Imperial. And it sounded awesome. I quickly went over, I made my Imperial base. I thought, okay, I'll start working on this so I can learn more about the Imperial side. Big fell by the developers. When you go over to the other base to do attacks, to do upgrades, the current base gets frozen. That means all your upgrades stop, everything stops. And when you're trying to upgrade a base that I've been working on this base for months, upgrades are taking six, seven days. Why do I want to go over and play the Imperial side and freeze all my upgrades so it's going to take me twice as long to do everything? Nobody's going to do that when they've worked on their base so long. I think they should switch that so that you can be upgrading two bases at the same time. I don't really understand what they were trying to do there. So that's my rant on that ish issue, but let's get these air traps fixed. Hope you guys enjoyed this glitch video. More to come. Take care. See you around.